Hello. My name is Pat, and I am here to tell you about who was Zhang He, the Admiral of the Ming Dynasty. Zhang He, 1371-1433, also known as Mao Sanbao and Hji Ma Ma Shamsuddin was a Hui Chinese mariner, explorer, diplomat and fleet admiral, who commanded voyages to Southeast Asia, South Asia, the Middle East, East Africa, and the Horn of Africa collectively referred to as the Voyages of Zhang He or Voyages of Cheng Ho from 1405 to 1433. Between 1405 and 1433, the Ming government sponsored seven naval expeditions. The Yongle Emperor designed them to establish a Chinese presence, impose imperial control over trade, impress foreign peoples in the Indian Ocean Basin and extend the empire's tributary system. It has also been claimed, on the basis of later texts, that the voyages also presented an opportunity to seek out Su Yunnan, the previous emperor whom the Yongle Emperor had usurped and who was rumored to have fled into exile, possibly the largest scale manhunt on water in the history of China. Zheng He was placed as the admiral in control of the huge fleet and armed forces that undertook these expeditions. Wang Jingong was appointed his second in command. Zheng He's first voyage, which departed July 11, 1405, from Shizhou, consisted of a fleet of 317 ships, holding almost 28,000 crewmen. Each ship housed up to 500 men. Zheng He's fleets visited Arabia, Brunei, the Horn of Africa, India, Southeast Asia and Thailand, dispensing and receiving goods along the way. Zheng He presented gifts of gold, silver, porcelain and silk. In return, China received such novelties as ostriches, zebras, camels, ivory and a giraffe from the Swahili. While Zheng He's fleet was unprecedented, compared to previous voyages from China to the East Indian Ocean, the routes were not. Zheng He's fleet was following long-established, well-mapped routes sea-based trade links had existed between China and the Arabian Peninsula since the Han Dynasty, there being trade with the Roman Empire at that time. During the Three Kingdoms, the King of Wu sent a diplomatic mission along the coast of Asia, reaching as far as the Eastern Roman Empire during the Song Dynasty. There was large-scale maritime trade from China reaching as far as the Arabian Peninsula and East Africa. So he generally sought to attain his goal through diplomacy, and his large army outpost put the enemies under submission. But a contemporary reported that Zen Wu walked like a tiger and did not shrink from violence when he considered it necessary to impress foreign peoples with China's military might. He ruthlessly suppressed pirates who had long plagued Chinese and Southeast Asian waters for example, he would defeat Chen Zhu, one of the most feared and respected pirate captains, and return him back to China for execution. He also waged a land war against the Kingdom of Kot in Ceylon, and he made displays of military force when local officials threatened his fleet in Arabia and East Africa. From his fourth voyage, he brought envoys from 30 states who traveled to China and paid their respects at the Ming court. In 1424, the Yongle Emperor died. His successor, the Hunxi Emperor, reigned 1424 feet 1425, decided to stop the voyages during his short reign. Zheng He made one more voyage during the reign of Hunxi's son Xuandi Emperor, reigned 1426 feet 1435, but after that the voyages of the Chinese treasure ship fleets were ended. Xuanda believed his father's decision to halt the voyages meritorious, and thus there would be no need to make a detailed description of his grandfather sending Zheng He to the Western Oceans. 
this, and the fact that the voyages were contrary to the rules stipulated in the Huang Mingzong, ancestral injunctions of the August Ming, the royal founding documents laid down by the Hongwu Emperor, account for the Ming neglect of Zheng He in official accounts and the scanned records of the voyages available for later historians. Zheng He died during the Treasure Fleet's last voyage although he has a tomb in China, it is empty, he was, like many great admirals, buried at sea.